So what you're saying is, I'll never eat sandwiches again. So essentially, Korea never wants me to eat food again. Um, we had the bunny bear eggs. Yes, we did. I can't eat them after they're made into adorable little bears. Of and not. Uh, now sandwiches are being taken from me as well. Because now you can make them into Winnie the Pooh. Is that... Is that Disney? Does it say Disney on it? Or is it this doesn't like say Disney, super but copy this really looks like Winnie the Pooh. Like it's got its Pooh. smile. It doesn't say Disney. All it says is make cookies. Make cookies. So it's a sandwich cutter. Right. But it's also you can make sandwich cookies. What would you call a... An ice cream sandwich. <gasps> oh, man. See, the thing is, I think Korea and Asian culture have it right. Like whenever you watch these like gourmet restaurant shows, they always talk about the presentation of a dish and you see them like- Oh yeah, like wiping Yeah, they'll juices. do the wiping and they put the juices in the pattern and put some like ugly foam and say, oh, this presentation is so beautiful. But really, do you want some like slop there or do you want a poo sandwich? Cause I tell you what, if I was a judge and someone gave me like some like colorful foam or a poo sandwich, yeah. I'd go for the poo sandwich. I can imagine you on a cooking show being like, and here comes uh, Simon serving his traditional poo sandwich. It is with the side of a bunny egg. Uh, are you from Quebecois right now? Or well, you, you, did your, you did your I terrible was from French Paris. accent. You Look, are from Quebec. We're both Canadian. Our French accents have been garbled over slaughtered. time. Off to the poo sandwich station. Let's go. We don't have one of those. Of course we do. Oh, the kitchen. No, 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 no. Anyways, all right, so here's how the thingy here works. You got the press side, uh -huh. got the face side. I guess we're supposed to like- I like your technical the... terminology. Here's the press side and here's this the face side. This is the press side. side and here's the face side. So Let's here we have our bread with a bear clip. Friendly bear. Friendly bear. I may or may not have butchered cutting up this bread earlier Martina's on. Martina's really not good at cutting bread. Here's the top, there's the bottom. Hey, just give it to me. Okay, here we go. Through. Okay, we have our we have our bear shape or okay. our bottom of a. It's an alien. Egg. Ready? Okay. Okay, line it up carefully. Okay. Oh, it's lopsided. <laughs> I'm real really? sorry, Simon. No. Okay. okay. Perhaps I pressed too hard. Here you go. Uh, toast him. We're gonna burn his face off now. I feel like that'd be a little traumatizing for children, being like, oh, this is your poo bread, this is your number one dinner I have. Okay, here, let's make yours. Yours is equally as stupid. Look, this is the corner here, and there's a corner here. You know, Martin doesn't really make for a good housewife. Eh. All right, how's it look? Pretty good. Um, Wait. You think that looks good? Hey guys, can I have <laughs> some honey? I'm the boo bear. Ah! Is it well? up. Oh god, it's hot. How does it look? Burn half of his face. It's fine. It looks a lot better now that it's been toasted. Okay, no, it doesn't. So he's got lines up through his face. I'm gonna do this other side. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna cover his right, ugly side. Right, you cover the ugly side, and then you serve it, and everyone will like, pick it up and be like, "This is gorgeous." This seems to really defeat the purpose. I'll be really honest with you right now, Simon. Well, what are you supposed to do with the bread as soon as you're done with it? You're supposed to stare at it lovingly and be like, "This is the best thing that's ever happened to me." Okay, my toast is ready. Bring over the poo. Oh, Ooh, he's looking pretty cold and grizzled. Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> Oh, See, the no. picture shows him like being nicely, evenly he coated brown. Really? Look at him. He's so happy, like he like, oh, I just came back from the beach, look at my hand. He used pen. to blow torch on him, that's the only way to get it that no. way. This looks more like Winnie the Pooh than Simon's, I'd have to look, argue. mine just got shot in the face. That's so traumatizing, I can't imagine. Well, no, all you gotta do bad. is you just have to eat your sandwiches like this like, from now like... on. Like, see how <laughs> nice this is? You ate his ear. Biggest problem with this is that it's a huge waste of crusts. What are we gonna do with all this? Come here, Spudgy. No way. I'll make bread. Spudgy's a duck. Here. Spudgy. Spudgy! Hey! Go, Spudgy. Oh, he's going for it. Spudgy will eat anything. It's giveaway time! I think this might be our cutest care package ever. I think all of them are pretty cute. This one's really cute. This one has the, the ducky fan. Uh -huh. It has the soap, hand soap, fluffy confetti thingies. And it has a nail oranger. Oh yeah, Simon's nail My is just nail is... coming off of that. Oh, it's still orange. And we also now have the poo sandwich, or the pookie maker, if you will. The poodwitch. The poo sandwich. The poo. So when this month's wonderful treasure find care package, all you have to do is answer our skill testing question. And the question is, what animal would be the most inappropriate to be made for a 
sandwich press maker. Mm. Mm -hmm. We know the bears are inappropriate. What else is there? What else could be inappropriate for a sandwich or a cookie? How about a spudgy sandwich? <gasps> that a would be wonderful. We all like a lopsided. Sandwich. I have like the one eye. One eye on, and, like one tongue would stick out. out. Your sandwich would like never close up. Like properly. it would be just made entirely of crust and like fall apart and be like. <laughs> Here's a stupid retarded sandwich. <sighs> I'm sorry, Spongy. I love you. You're a good dog. You're gonna murder Simon in his sleep.